Very shallow warm. I'm gonna give all the praise to stay a hawa by Shami Aushai, by Shami Kakodash, and double other city apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Be some blessings to the elect. Alright, uh, this year is Amma 1 from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. You know, I'll come back to do another lesson. Um, the name of this lesson is the pride of these people will get them destroyed. Alright? The pride of these people out here in the world will get them destroyed. And this is getting to it one time, you know. Second is just chapter 8 and 50. And it says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked with great pride. Right? Many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. The pride of these people will get them destroyed. Right? The pride of these people will get them destroyed. Because watch me. You know, people seem to think the so-called white man, right? With the false doctrines, okay? And the false, the false philosophies. And these philosophies that it have a big bang, you know? That the most high just appear from nowhere, you know? As it are lies, right? That the Lord just appear from nowhere, that they don't have nothing that governing earth, that governing the heavens, that made all these things in, 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 in um, perfection, man, animals, trees, the sky, rain, sun, the moon, the stars, right? Made all these things in perfection, people following. Basically, everybody who don't believe in Yahweh Bashami Shai basically are fucking atheists. Christian, Christians is some of the biggest atheists out there. But they're following the so called white man doctrine. And as the scriptures say, the fool had said in his heart, there is no power like right? the so called white man. He's that fool. He, he said on and he said it in Hava God. In Psalms the 14 chapter, the first verse, it says, The fool had said in his heart, there is no power. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that do it good. Right? And that is the so-called white man. He said down and he said, it do have a God. Right? But he said what? He said, if it does have a God, he is the most high. And watch that. That is how these people outside here thinking. Because that is pride. Scripture say, the beginning of pride, is when one departed from his maker in the Apocrypha. I'm going to do it quick. And then I'll get our next scripture too. Right? The Apoc in, in the book of Sirach, the 13th chapter. Let me find it. Sirach chapter. No. Yeah. Sirach chapter. No, not 13. Huh? 11, I believe. No, verse 10. Sirach chapter 10, verse 13. That is what I mean. No, verse 12. Sirach chapter 10, verse 12. It says the beginning of pride is when one departed from the most high and when his heart is turned away from his maker and that is how the so-called white man think and what pride going on do to them in the latter days it will bring them into very great miseries very great miseries as i now read as i the opening scripture read pride will bring them into misery right and you people walking in, in pride because all you're, all you're not pondering on your Abbasham, you shall wake up in the morning all you're praying. Right? You, you, just do so. Like I woke up off my bed. This, that will inspire me to do this video this morning. I woke up off my bed and I started wiggling my toes. And I say to myself, boy, I just watching my toes and I wiggle my toes. And I say, watch that. A big bang could never create that. It's a, it's, a, it's a higher power to create that. And you had to give that man praise because you, you just getting up off your bed, you're walking so that you most I could go at your legs. You know? Most I could you most I could take your fucking legs. You, know? you ain't walk no more. You, know? you most I could fucking get, get a stroke in your brain and you know? so you're just brain dead. You turn a vegetable. And 
all you do want to praise the Lord, all you just want to do as all you want, because why? Do as thou wilt. That is the mentality of you people. Basically, you hate you, so you don't believe in the Mosai. Or you do not believe in the Mosai. Or you don't give him praise. Or you don't give him thanks. And that is the vibration of the so called white man push on the earth and everybody walking in that. So, you know what we're going with all you? In the latter days, misery. Jacob shovel. Um, famine. Hunger. Or the fuckers going to be hungry. Right? Or they're going to be hungry. But not the men of the Lord. Scripture say, Because you have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So we get with the apostles, the sincere men of the Lord, who believe in our Bashami Awashai, who believe in him, who sincerely believe, who are a faith, who go in and hold on to that belief until the end. Abarata I am one of them, and hey, somebody had to be it because the scripture say it have them. So it had our men who is those men who believe in our shy sincerely out of us and fervently out of us and say that. Those men will be protected. Or you're going on being miseries. Right? Because why are you following the so called white man philosophies? I don't want to come out tight. I don't want to remain in it. Dwell, delve in it. Live in it. Grow up children in it. Let them children grow up children in it. That cycle had a break. And the Awabasha, me how shy go and break that cycle. Right? Because all you believe in Esau too much. Okay? Esau do hard the way. Esau doesn't have the formula. To bring you on to righteousness. He doesn't have it. His formula is to bring you on to Satan. Satan. Baal Zabab. The Lord of the flies. The Lord of the underworld. The Lord of the dead. That is with the so called white man. Um, go and bring you on to. Okay? We got a precept here. Second Thessalonians chapter two. Chapter two and verse three. It says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Which is what going on right now. The fall falling away happened like two thousand years ago. But the man has sin being revealed right now. Right? Is that a whole long history within that? 78 was the fallen away. And the man has sin being revealed right now because he is ruling still. He had stopped rule for a while and now he start back to rule during the Renaissance era. It says, Who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, all that is worshipped. So that he as the Mosai, sitting in the temple of the Mosai, showing himself that he is the Mosai. When I say Mosai, it's a God day. By saying the Mosai. Because that is what the so called white man tells himself that he is the most high. The highest form of, of, of spirituality on the earth. He's, he's a fucking man, right? And you people, scripture say, woe to him. That put it is just a man and make it flesh his arm. Right? So called white man, or you trust in Egypt so much, so called white man chariots his flesh and not spirit. The scripture say that in Isaiah 30. I'll read that for you. Isaiah chapter 30. Um, Isaiah 30. It says now the Egyptians are men. The Egyptians is the so-called white man right now. That like, is like, like Esau. Spiritually called Saddam and Egypt. Right? So-called white man is the new Egyptian. For those who don't know, or brothers who might not be seeing this video, and Egypt rep, rep, come from the Hebrew word ma tazaria, which means to bind. And Esau is the one who bound us. He's the ones who put us into fetters of iron, yokes of iron upon my neck, chains on my feet, 
right? Whip song it back, chattel slavery. So he's the new Egyptian because he had the Israelites. The old Egyptians was were famous for having the Israelites in slavery. The new Egyptian, the so-called white man, did the Israelites the same thing. Because we had the Hebrew Israelites who was back then in slavery um, by the ancient Egyptians. Now we under we in slavery by the new Egyptians, the so-called white man. Hence the reason why you have overlicks in the states, the all see now in the back of the dollar bill, slaves in, in, in um, over here in the Western Hemisphere, all formulated by the so-called white man, which are the new Egyptians. And all types of abomination in the land. Just as the ancient Egyptians did. So Esau is the new Egyptian. So when the Lord say, Now the Egyptians are men. And not God. Right? They are men and not God. They is not the Mosai. These Edomites are not the Mosai. And their horses flesh and not spirit. Like they are the chariots. And right now, they have a, phen uh, uh, a phenomenon. I can't remember what that would mean. But they have a big thing on the chariots right now. Right? All kind of all over the place. But I'll get back to the topic just now. But it have a thing, a big thing on the chariots right now. Because everybody's sighting chariots right now. Right? They see the chariots right now. Everybody talking about it. And what I'm saying on the news is that these things are them defying the laws of physics, which is true. Physics come from what? Physical. If he saw, if one of he saw airplanes, if one of he saw aircrafts at high speed, supersonic speed, make a turn like this, it going so straight to Right? Going straight like this. And then just do so. Wah, 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 and come down. At, let me say at 4,000 miles per hour. That could never fucking happen. Like this. What you saw thing had to do. Because it's physical. If it coming at that speed. It got to gradually turn. Because the weight of the air. Will fucking disintegrate it. If it just make a sharp turn like that, it will just boom, explode. But the most high chariot is spirit. Right? As it says in Ezekiel, the first chapter. You know, the guy. But it says that. But these devils, and you trust, you dumb niggas, you trust in this so called white man saying that he is a power on earth. He don't have no power. His, his um, horses, his friggin'. Um, uh, 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 flesh meaning it, it carnal meaning it physical it could only follow the rules of physics right it could only follow the rules of physics it says when the Lord shall stretch out his hand both he that help it shall fall he that help it is the so-called white man. He's the one who helping you niggas right now. It says that in Revelation, the 12th chapter, that we will be fed from the face of the serpent. He's the one who helping all you. The Lord say, but he who help it shall fall when the Lord stretch out the hand. And he that is hoping shall fall long and they shall fail together. Because the Lord coming back to bring you dogs, so-called either mighty Chinese, you East Indians, down. And you niggas who join unto them down with him. Why? Because all you don't want to give Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai the glory. All you want to give this devil the glory. All you want to praise he. And he's science. Science falsely so-called. All you want to give he glory. For his, for his science, he's a science man. He had this, he had that. You understand? He could do this, he could do that. With the, with the technology. And all this technology does, does, does bring him, does bring him more away from Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai because 
Now we want to stick our microchip in you. Right? All this technology that bring you further away from the Lord. And closer to serving Him. And giving He glory. That's how the so-called white man does operate. Because He don't give the most of the glory for what He has. He don't get up in the morning and say, Lord, thank you for making an iPhone. Or for, getting the, for giving me the information to get the internet. For giving me the spirit to get the internet. For giving me the spirit to get the TV. Basically, the Urim and the Tumim. You don't, you don't thank the Lord for that. You don't thank the Lord for giving me the information for me to make a satellite or, a, or, or, or nuclear missiles. Right? For, for giving me the information to make cars and make airplanes. You, 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 you don't thank the Lord for that. He thanks the devil for that. And when you join unto him, you go hard at what? Thank he for that. It will have a chain, chain of command. Watch it. Watch the chain of command. The so called white man thank the devil for that. And if you thank him he for that, you're ultimately thanking the devil. Because he ain't going to give you how about Shami Awashai the glory. He gives Satan the glory. Right? And in his satanic uh, mindset, he is God. So anybody who joins unto this devil ultimately worshiping him. And you worshiping Satan because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? He give he, he say that it's a big bang make this is. This devil either might. And it's because of his pride. Why right, all are you going and fucking feel it? Anybody who joined unto this devil in the last days, go in and feel the wrath of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, period, point blank, and they don't have nothing else to say. Right? Because all they want to give Esau the glory, like Esau do it. Esau lose shit. Esau receive. So receive things. Let's see that was scripture. I see that. My glory as though thou hast not received. If thou hast received it, my glory as ah, I first Corinthians the fourth chapter. First Corinthians chapter four verse seven. It says, For who make it thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? The limit is so. Now if thou didst receive it. Why dost thou glory as if thou hast not received it? Now, I deal with the church in Corinth. And we could use that scripture to deal with men who bucking up against the, the teachers. And I are using that for the so-called white man. Because everything that he have, he, the Lord give it. And you know, he glory as though he ain't get it. Like he fucking hands form it. Like his own hands is who form it. That's why. He, because... The beginning of pride is when one departed from his maker. That is why our Bashami Awashai go and destroy you Edomites permanently off the face of the earth. It's Hebrews chapter 1, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3. It says, True faith, and this is something the so called Edomite, the Edomite so called white man does not have faith. Right? Because faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Mosai. Romans 10 and 17. And according to Psalms chapter 147, verse 19 and 20, he showed his word unto Jacob, the statutes and his commandments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So, only Israelites could have faith, according to that. In Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, of course. Right? Because faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of the Mosai, and the word of the Mosai is only for the Israelites. 
So it says, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? That could only come by faith. This devil don't have faith. So he say a big bang maker. Boom! And then everything was made perfect. Booms, bangs, this cause disruption. This cause anarchy. Not perfection. Not a man with a brain that say that processing so fast that as I talk here is the is my brain that processing the words to bring out. I know which how fast that is. I talk in here. You understand? My brain then sending them signals to make them words come out my mouth. A fucking big bang can do that. A big bang cannot do that. A big bang can't do that. That is a creation right there. That is some creator is a, is a man who had was to just like the so called white man of his science and he had to create a robot and make himself he so. Right? You create the robot, so why the fuck you gonna say it's a big bang other than if you use the devil? You gotta be the devil. And he is the devil. He says so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. The things which are seen. What do we see? What do we see? We see a, we see a, a, a naturally. We see man walking upright on the earth. We see, we see the sun. We see the moon. We see the stars. Right? We see the sky. We see the heavens. We see animals. We see a difference in beasts uh, from men. We see different sorts of fishes. We see different sorts of beasts on the earth, cattle, we see goat, we see insects, we see all these things, right? They were not made of things which just appear, like i.e. a big bang, boom, and just them things just come into existence, or a idol, right? Or an idol, like an like a insect, and in, in make a fucking insect, because we see an insect, like, so you people... Who, who mounted up idols? We seen man. So man can make all these things. Somebody had was to make man. Right? We seen these things. So we can't say a man now make up make the moon. We can't say that. Because we seen man. So somebody had was to put man here. Somebody had was to put the fish here. So we can't say. That a man or, or a fish. So that is why you're not supposed to worship idols. Like these heathen who like to make, make fish. God, elephant, God, God, this, this God, that God, six hand God. We can't, we can't pray to these things because these things, a fish or an elephant, we already seen that on earth. Or a tree. Right? Like, like the fucking um, Christmas tree. We already seen these things on earth. We seen it. So how the hell this could create all the, 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 these different things? But the so-called white man will tell you that. He will, he will tell you that. He will de de deify himself and say he's a god. He's a god on earth. Right? And say hey, everybody had to worship me. That is a God. Right? He's not no God. It had to have a higher creation. A higher... A higher... Let me not say creation. A higher... Authority... To create all these things that we see. Because things what now appear... Cannot create that. That is understood. So that cut Esau Big Bang, that cut the fucking idol worship. Because that have a higher authority to create all these things. And you people don't seem to get that in all your head. But they're still giving reverence to Jesus the Christ. Saying he's all your God. That is not the Mosai. These Brazilians have the um, Christ of the Andes in Brazil. Big statue overlooking Rio de Janeiro, I believe. 
that didn't create everything that we see so let that now appear that some man make that the other day some man now fucking sculpt that into being Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai from everlasting to everlasting and all they will realize that when the Lord come back because they guess what the Lord Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai coming on this earth right in innumerable amounts of chariots scripture say that innumerable you can't number it's just thousands upon ten thousands like ten thousands the scripture say and they will be in so called UFOs coming back on this earth to burn it to fuck down the so called white man stinking kingdom with a bunch of homos running up and down in it popping each other and lesbians and bestiality people and people doing all kind of abomination on the earth the Lord not about that the Lord coming back to set up order and this is why we are outside the preaching this is why we doing videos this is why we are exalting this is why we praying daily hey, and you had to pray daily you had to say prayers so called white man does teach you not to pray you had to say your prayers say your prayers go and pray fucking gain up and just functioning right just gain up and just going and coming back home go and pray pray do I you, you, you just always say you're just doing what you want to just say a prayers brother and you just wonder why things happening to you say a prayers that is all you have to do pray to the Lord Yeah, I feel a whole lot of day. But the point is that you people are going and feel the wrath of a of a terrible power. You have a basham you have shy. You know you feel it. Know why it comes because all you walk in great pride. Right? Know that. Yeah. So even that, give all praise to Yahweh Basham Yao Shai Basham Rakafodash. Hopefully you know you've been edified. And until the next time, this is Amawan signing out. Shallow one.